Hello everyone and welcome back to Profile Trees YouTube where we have been taking a focus on digital transformation and one of the key questions that is consistently coming up in around this area is the difference between digital transformation and a business transformation. So in today's video we want to address that where I will break both concepts down to show you how exactly they're different but also maybe to show you how they aren't so different in many ways as well. So by at the end of this video, going forward, you will have a clear indication on how to focus on the correct areas in terms of growing your own business and transforming in the future. And before we do take a look at this, I want to remind you that Profile Tree are a web design, digital marketing, SEO and video agency. And we are also offering support and guidance in around digital transformation. So if you are a company who is going through any transformation or change management or the implementation of a new software system within your own business and you seek any support and guidance in around these areas, make sure and contact Profile Tree today and we will be more than happy to help. Now, let's take a look at the difference between digital transformation and business transformation. So as I mentioned, this is a common conversation within the digital world here today. So it's important that you have a clear understanding and completely are aware of the two terms so you are clear on what you're setting out to achieve during the stages of growing your business. So I suppose the overarching question when it comes to these two terms is that is technology driving the overall transformation? And I just want to throw up this small diagram which shows the three key aspects of a digital transformation where the people aspect represents the likes of culture and those involved with the business itself and the processes are making you think about how you do things within your own business. Then of course you have technology, which many could actually argue that for any business to transform in today's age and really strive to become competitively advanced, that they probably really need to consider technology as an opportunity to do this. However, another way of looking at this is that within digital transformation, Technology is actually seen as a driving force, so whether it be the implementation of the likes of a CRM system or an ERP system, these technological softwares will take the overall focus of your transformation and will be heavily involved in your long term vision. So technology here is the driving force, however on the other hand, within business transformation, technology will actually enable you to change. So as I briefly mentioned, it cannot be ruled out. But in this case, it is less likely to be included in the company's long-term vision. So now you understand technology's role within the transformation process, I want to emphasize the importance of the other two keys to success, which are the people and processes, as you can see here on screen now. And no matter whether you see it as a business transformation you're implementing or a digital transformation, these other two elements are going to be key to your overall success. And because digital transformations involve really leveraging technology to optimize existing processes, enhance your efficiency and create new business models, people and processes can tend to actually be overlooked. Whereas within business transformations, the focus is mostly on making significant changes to an organization's overall strategy, structure, processes, culture and capabilities to adapt to the marketing dynamics and essentially improve as a business. So as you can imagine, the people and processes side of a business transformation is really that prime focus. And what I'm trying to emphasize here is within a business transformation and a digital transformation, the people and processes side is equally as important. So we really suggest if you're going through the likes of a digital transformation, you should take the initiative on as a business transformation because effectively this will allow you to understand that it's going to affect your whole business. And with the failure rates sitting as high as 70%, in the failures of digital transformation initiatives today, we believe that the best thing forward is to really consider it as a company-wide transformation and that you should really take on board the likes of your people, your processes, and of course your technology and how this can all impact your business through the whole transformation process. And in that way, you will understand exactly what you need to do to manage change effectively and ensure you're successful. And on that note, I have created videos in around change management and how you could actually effectively lead change. So I would encourage you to check those out on Profile Tree's YouTube. And at the same time, like any business transformation or digital transformation, the likes of your strategy and the goals and objectives that you're setting out to achieve along your journey, as well as your ability to define your business needs, is also going to come into play massively here. 
So I've also created videos in around these types of areas. So I would encourage you to check those out as well because this is also going to have major influence over how successful you are. So on that note, I would encourage you to check out the Easel Conceptual Model, a digital transformation framework developed by Ulster University in line with helping Profitry through their two year digital transformation journey, where I have went over the step by step guide on how you could use this for your own business while going through any transformational process today. That is the end of today's video. I hope you have a better understanding of exactly the difference between digital and business transformations and the key components you need to take into consideration while going through any of these. I also want to remind you that Profitry offer guidance and support in around conducting a digital transformation within your own business. So if you seek any guidance or support in around this area, don't be afraid to contact myself or the business today and I would be more than happy to help. You can find both the business email and my email on screen now. So I will look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much for watching and have a brilliant day.